If you guys want to win a copy of FIFA 18 on any console of your choice, all you need to do is leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below in the comment section, and subscribe to my channel, turning on notifications. Do those four things, that'll enter you into the giveaway, and I'll be announcing the winner shortly before the release of FIFA 18 in September. Best of luck, and let's go on into the video. Hey guys, it's Wei here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to complete the marquee matchup, score bit of challenge, the cheapest and easiest way. It's going to give you four 25k packs and an 84 plus team of the week player pack for completing, and it only sets you back around 40,000 coins so a hundred thousand coins worth of tradable packs as well as a team of the week pack is a very good return for it's quite a cheap SBC so as always with the marquee matchups there are four different SBCs to complete and as always as normal with the SBCs that you do get in the marquee matchups they're very easy to complete and a lot of them can just be done with players you already have in your club which is what I did so start off with Japan against Australia all you need is one player from Japan one from Australia and 85 chemistry so just get a Japanese player and just get an Australian player the cheapest bronzes you have I'm sure you you guys will all have plenty in your club. Put them as the fullbacks, and then the rest of the team just build as a one league team. So I went with the Etristia uh, League from Ireland. Just go with something like the Saudi League, the Japanese League, the Korean League. One of those bad leagues that has loads of bronzes, and put them all in, and you should be good. I mean, that SBC, just to buy the players, if you don't already have them in your club, like 2,000 coins, and you get a 25k pack, which is very good. Next up is France against Netherlands. This one here, one player from each of the two countries. You also need four rare players at minimum. Everyone has to be gold and 85 chemistry so for this one here get the cheapest French player and the cheapest Dutch player that are gold that you either have in your club or on the market put them as the fullbacks and then the rest of your team just build as a one league gold team I went with the Calcio A just because I have loads of Calcio A players in my squad you can go with whatever you want you can go with the Russian League the Super League the MLS maybe the Argentine League whatever you want if you've got a league with plenty of players in your club just use those make sure you have the full rare players and you should be good and that is another 25k pack and you get so many good returns from these SBCs because of the amount of packs you're getting you'll normally make profit from them no matter how much you really spend on them so next up we've got Uruguay against Argentina and this one here exactly the same requirements as the last one except this one is obviously Uruguay and Argentina so one player from each of the nations four rare players everyone has to be gold 85 chemistry and just like with your last SBC go with your full backs as players from Uruguay and Argentina and the rest of the team just make from a different league so I went with the La Liga from Spain went with a couple of rare players and there you go you should be good You'll get the chemistry, you'll get the rating, not that you actually need a rating, and uh, it's a very easy one to do. Next up, and finally, we actually have USA against Costa Rica. This one here, you need one player from USA or Costa Rica. Everyone has to be at least silver and 85 chemistry, so I would recommend just going with the United States player, as they're more common and normally cheaper. But if you have a card in your club from Costa Rica and don't have one from the US, just go with that. Just use any cards you have really in your club. And then the rest of the team, just go with a silver team from a different nation. So I would recommend going with the Korean League or the Japanese League, they're both really good as there's loads and loads of players who are silvers in those leagues and uh, yeah I went with the J League right here, very very easy to do and that is going to complete the marquee matchups SBC as you guys can see there that's the final pack you get and the marquee matchups have been completed and we get an 84 plus team of the week player pack so we've got five packs to open starting off with the 25k pack these are the rare ones where you get just rare items and you get uh, a couple of players in them so we get Rudiger in the first one not too bad there I'm really not sure how much players sell for right now just because I've not played um, FIFA 17 for a few weeks now and I've only really come on just because I saw that there was uh, an SBC available if we, if we can get a walkout or something though um, I would take that. There's going to be Wendell there. This is actually going to be one of the last FIFA 17 videos you'll probably see on my channel because from now on I'm mainly just going to be doing videos on FIFA 18 and uh, kind of the starter squads, things like that. Maybe some trading tips, how to get ready for the web app, all those types of things there. And uh, yeah, I'm just not really playing FIFA 17 much, but uh, I'm not going to be uploading every day because of that. But when FIFA 18 comes out, I'm going to have at least an upload every single day, if not double uploads, triple uploads even on some of the first days with the web app with trading and everything, because that's when trading is kind of uh, at its peak, really, and um, when I'll be doing a lot of trading on the web app. But sadly, though, it does coincide with me going back to school, so I'm going to have less time, but I'm going to try and sort that out, so I have plenty of time to still do videos and everything. In the pack here, we get uh, Bojan right there. Um, I thought he'd actually gone back to Stoke, but apparently not. Um, Baldi Diao, who's actually gone to Monaco, I think. Yeah, Monaco for like 25 million, which is a pretty decent deal. We've got a loan pack here, which just just no one cares about. We get Giroud. Um, I mean, e even at the beginning of FIFA, I wouldn't want to use a loan Giroud, but uh, right now, I really couldn't care less about that. Age 4 plus Team of the Week pack, it's not even a walkout. It's not even a walkout. Still, though, it could be some pretty decent players. An Argentine goalkeeper is never going to be a pretty decent player. It is really 85 rated. 
And um, yeah, I mean, he's got a good card, but there's just so many better players than him I could have packed. But yeah, 85 really though, I will take that. He can uh, go straight into the club. If you guys do want to see a club tour of my whole kind of FIFA 17 club, that can be like my last video of FIFA 17 if you do want to see that. But uh, there we go, Ruli. Um, they're not too bad, but not the best anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. If you don't want to get any cheap football shirts, like some ones you can see in the background, go and check out my footballfactory.com. There's a link down below in the description. Use the discount code E2A at checkout for an extra 10% off. It's like £25 for a very, very good looking football shirt. So if you do want to go and check that out, I really would recommend it. I've got lots in the background myself, really good quality shirts. But I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in my next one. Take care.